I've always known that as a species, people have an overwhelming desire to be on the move. But it wasn't until recently that I realized just how strong that drive can be. In some cases, it can be a calling. It can be someone's life purpose. And you can see this drive for yourself. Just stop sometime and take a look around. Take a look at all the little things in life that we have that are dedicated to getting us from one place to another. And you'll start to notice the energy and the commitment that people have just in moving themselves from one point to another. We'll go somewhere or do something even if it isn't safe. We just have to stay on the move. We have to keep moving. Otherwise, I feel like sometimes we might just wither up and die. I'm, I'm standing right here, right now, and this is a pretty good spot. There's nothing wrong with it, but it's not perfect. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try over there. You know, this isn't it. And this interests me so much because I feel that too. I got to stay on the move. I got places to go and things to see. And if I don't get out enough and if I don't travel, I feel like there's just no point to it all. But this is it. This is the place where I first realized just what a fascination we have with being somewhere else. It doesn't get much more nowhere in Eastern Oregon than right here. We're about 30 miles away from the closest small town. And where I want to go is, is just half a mile that way. We're so close. We're so close. All right, let's go. I can't remember the last time I've been this far away from civilization. I mean, just look at this place. <laughs> just, it's crazy. <laughs> There's nothing out here. Well, there is something out here. Okay, do you see this, this, and this, and over here, this? Did, did you see all that? 200 years ago, this was a superhighway. Thousands and thousands of people came through this little rut right here, this little depression in the ground, in wagon trains, and they knocked down enough of the earth to carve it out. And you can still see it 200 years later. What a testament to the human spirit and the need to be somewhere better than an indelible mark on the landscape like this that exists hundreds of years after people stopped coming through here. That's how strong their desire was to be, to be somewhere else in life. And I don't think that part of us will ever die. All right, I gotta go, people are waiting for me. So that feeling of needing to be somewhere else is alive and well in me. It's been maybe, what, 10 minutes since I saw those wagon ruts and already I'm thinking about what I have to do next and where I have to go and where I have to be this evening. It just never turns off. I know that need to be somewhere else just never ends. So far it hasn't. <laughs>